Hello, beautiful. Everybody in the world is wearing the wet look. This whole moment. It's been a thing for like five plus years now and it's not going anywhere. I honestly thought it was a trend for a while, but it's really just like a cute look that literally anybody can do with only two products. When I learned how to do a wet look, I was searching all over online on how to do it. And honestly, A, there was no videos. And B, if there was a video, they used like 600 different products. And I was like, it I can't even follow along, bro. You got 500 different things in this head of hair right now. So I'm gonna show you an easy as way of doing the wet look with only two different products and only like five to 10 minutes of work. I got you, let's do it. Come on in here, Miss Manny Quinn. Hey, you look different than last time. <laughs> That's because the other one's in the trash. What? No, you're not gonna get thrown away. You are only getting some waves, so you will survive another day and uh, you will not retire today, so you're welcome. You are the chosen one, but one day you will retire, just like the rest of them. R.I.P. to all the mannequin heads in the world that I have destroyed. Oh God, it's a lot of them. <laughs> I miss them. So she's about to get her red carpet wet look moment. I just think this whole idea of wet looking hair is so sexy, so timeless, and so, mm, you know what I mean? Now let me also mention before we begin, this is going to not leave your hair crunchy. No, it will not be fluffy, because that's only with dry hair, but it is not going to leave your hair rock hard where you're not using a hair gel in this tutorial. So you will not go like this and have your hair be like <sighs> So when we're done, you'll still have volume, your hair will Will still be touchable and soft and this works for all hair lengths and hair textures it is really the go-to look if you're literally going to school it could be so cute to like prom a gala or an event or a red carpet or a premiere or literally taking an Instagram picture like this is the look are you ready for the two products that you will need for today's video it's the one and the only wave tech wave foam my number one seller this thing is a cult favorite I'm just so happy you guys love this as much as I do it's great for so many different things including the wet look this gives you the most perfect looking waves without the crunch and also keeps them intact for a very, very long time. The other product, my other favorite product, BDSM Slick and Define Balm. Oh, this is what I use in my hair literally every single day and what I use in everybody else's hair every time I style their hair. From taming flyaways to taming edges to styling men's hair to smoothing out women's hair or to add texture to beachy waves or do the wet look, BDSM is your it adds an amazing amount of hold as well as shine and there is mica inside of this that gives you that little bit of glisten to your hair. So let's do this. Now let's choose a wet look. So we have all these to choose from, right? I showed you in the beginning of the video. Um, I'm aiming towards more of like this one. I'm thinking this sort of like push back on one side, side part volume moment. When your hair is like slick back like that, I feel like it makes it look more wet and it kind of like tricks the eye. So I'm gonna do that. It seems like a good idea for today and it's really my go-to when it comes to the wet look. And we've made it to step one. Oh, congratulations. We're off to a great start. You're you're gonna need your hair to be wet. Damp, actually, not wet. Don't make it too wet. I would say 80% wet, okay? Not like dripping, please. It'll make your life so much harder and you don't want that. You also don't need to have your hair clean, okay, necessarily. Just make sure you don't have a bunch of product in there and then you're like wetting down the product and it just becomes like a slippery, nasty mess. If you don't have any product in your hair, that'd be best. I'm gonna start off with clean hair though and I'm gonna dampen it for y'all. So we're just gonna get it in there. We're gonna get all of this water in there. You can also just stick your head in a sink and wet it or take a little shower. I know you'd be stinking. Make sure you get those roots nice and damp. That is gonna really help people think that your hair is actually wet. I mean, right now it actually is wet, so that would make a lot of sense. If your hair looks like this, great job. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> come so far. Next step, also a really simple step. Pick the damn side you wanna part your hair on or part it in the middle if you would like. I don't know, I feel like this whole wet look just looks sexier with a side part, but that's just me. She already looks cuter like this. We're gonna put it pretty deep because I like a good deep side part with this wet look. It's a little too deep, okay? Perfect, I'm gonna keep it there. That looks gorge elena -ous. And now we're literally halfway done. Not quite, but we're almost halfway done. All right, so we're gonna just section out the nape 
of the neck. We're just gonna clip that up. Okay, so I'm literally just taking like an inch wide section of hair. You wanna make sure your sections are relatively small. That way you get a lot of product on a little section at a time. The main key here is to use a ton of product. All right, product is your friend here. Do not be scared. We're gonna take our wave tech wave foam and we are going to squirt that into our hands and we're gonna get all around our hands. And we're just gonna scrunch it in. Now, wave tech, if you guys have ever used it before, I know a lot of you have, it's gonna look like you put shampoo in your hair. But what happens is the foam is actually what really helps you define your wave. The foam kind of adds this like almost Velcro effect to when you're scrunching your hair. So when you scrunch it, it first of all, Velcros together this way, and it helps keep it nice and scrunched up going upwards horizontally. I love foam waving products so much. Oftentimes heavier uh, waving gels weigh your hair down and don't give you the best definition. After we're done applying Wave Tech Wave Foam to the hair, we are then just gonna take BDSM. We're gonna take a good amount of it. Don't be scared. I be a little bit scared, but it's gonna feel a little wrong at first, okay? And first I'm gonna really get it on those roots. We want those roots to stay looking wet. It's so important that we get all of that BDSM on there. This is gonna help put kind of a layer of film over those wave tech waves and keep them from getting too, too soft and dried out. And that should be good. So I'm gonna do a few more sections like this and then I'll show you how I like to form the wave and make it a little more unison and defined as well as a little bit wavier than this. If you do not have wavy hair, that's totally fine. You can make it actually look wavy through the technique I'm about to show you once I apply more product to the head. All right, so next section, we're just gonna go all the way across. If anything has dried, make sure you just dampen it up a little bit more before you begin, especially those roots. They tend to dry out really fast. And that again is the most important part. You want those roots to look wet. If they're too dry, you're not gonna get that wet look, honey. It's gonna be like more of a middle school, like gelled hair moment. I don't want that for you. Getting our wave foam on there into those roots, into those ends, getting a little bit more and putting it on the front hairline. Don't forget the front hairline. I see y'all forgetting the front hairline sometimes and I'm like, hello, that's the part that gets frizzy. Let's get that, thank you. And again, some BDSM. Get that right in that hairline. I like to almost concentrate like most of it on the hairline and the ends and then get it in the mids as well. Holy that's so easy, Brad. I swear people be making this so hard out there and I don't know why. And again, you guys, I'm using about that much of the BDSM balm at a time and that will work for probably like this section and then I reload. And for the last layer, that BDSM bomb has to go right on those roots. It's gonna feel so wrong, but it's so, so right. And if you were sort of slacking on the rest of the head, please just make sure that this layer, this top layer is nice and product up, okay? We need a lot of product in there. Next step, we're gonna take our wide tooth comb and we are just going to gently rake through this front section over here. We're just kind of getting this section picked up and we're gonna push it over, ooh! Hot. Now we're gonna take this side and I'm just gonna push this behind her ear. I'm actually gonna comb through most of this because it gets a little ratty as you keep messing with it. So it's totally okay to comb through the entire thing. I always tend to do that to kind of smooth the hair out a little bit and then scrunch it back into place. Now she doesn't have an ear. She has like a fake ear. So I might have to pin that back, but normally you'd put the hair behind the ear and it would work fine. All right, just going a little bit in with the wide tooth comb at the top just to get rid of some of those tangles and re-scrunching and it's looking wet. That's because it is. So we're beginning the styling process now. I'm going to pin this back and you don't want to use a fine tooth comb because you want this piecey texture. And if all you have is a fine tooth comb, then go back in there and sort of rake your fingers through. That way it looks like you literally got out of the shower and just ran your hands through your hair. That looks great. I like where this is going. And now the other side, I'm liking the vibes. I'm just going to add like a little bit of a bend in the hair. Really think of this as sculpting the hair. You're really just looking in the mirror and just moving the hair 
into a wave pattern that you like. I like this old Hollywood glamour mixed with the wet look thing, so we're gonna keep it like that. And I love when there's like a nice defined wave in the front. See how I'm literally just taking the hair and just moving it into a wave? And this is also just me being really extra, so you don't have to do all of this. Don't feel too much pressure to completely transform your hair. As long as you get the basics down, it'll look amazing. I'm now just wrapping the hair around my finger and letting it out, and that's gonna give me those nice little ring curls, because her hair is not that wavy. And I'm just gonna pop in one of these clips. That's just gonna keep the hair in place as it dries. If you're lacking volume, this is going to be amazing because you can really build in the volume with these clips and it helps the volume dry into the hair. And I feel like it's looking a little flat back here and I don't want it to dry any flatter. So we're just gonna put some clips in like this just at the crown region to make sure it doesn't get too flat in the back. And before I let this dry, I'm going to add a little bit of hairspray in the front. Now the hairspray will give you that crunchy feel. If you literally don't want that at all and you're not worried about your hair falling just a tad, then don't use it. But I'm not gonna put it all over. I'm just putting it in these sections that I clip back. That way the hair stays like that, okay? And don't be afraid of getting this on your roots because we want your roots to stay wet too. Don't forget, I keep saying that, but it's like the most important part that people always forget about. That'll really help that stay. Okay, when it comes to drying, you have a few options, right? You can either air dry it, which takes a long time. Um, you can diffuse it with a diffuser attachment on your blow dryer like this and just go around and just wait till it dries. You honestly don't have to dry it. Your hair's gonna look very, very similar when it's dry. So if it's not cold outside and you're totally cool with going out like this, wait a few minutes, take the clips out and you're off. But what I like to use is this baby. This just goes right on your head. I use this for all kinds of things. These things are amazing to keep the hair in place while it's dried. And it it really helps keep those curls intact. I just hook it up to my blow dryer here and I put the little nozzle inside there and I turn this on medium heat and then I just let it dry and I come back and she's done. So I will see you when this is dried. And here is the final look. Ooh, she looks so hot. Oh my God, damn, she looks sexy. So all I did was take out the little um, hairpin things and really just like fluffed up the hair a little bit with the tail comb and just got everything in place. And then I just took my hairspray and this is again, totally optional if you want zero crunch, but I just went around the top again and just got everything in place and made it stay there. You can move everything besides the top because I hairsprayed it but everything is quite bouncy and playful and your hair will still move and it is not weighed down like it is when it has actual water in it. So it is quite a nice medium between like dry and wet, but it definitely looks wet. And again, as you can see, there is all that BDSM balm and that hairspray all at the root, giving you that really nice wet texture all the way at the top, which is going to really enhance the wet look overall. And if you really wanna take your wet look to the next level, please, please, please do very dewy makeup like wet skin type of vibe, um, do a glossy lip and use a highlighter. I'm gonna put a little highlighter on here because why the f not? Ooh, wait, I hope you can see this. I don't think you can see it. You can see it, right? Like that is what I want. That will trick anybody looking at you to thinking you are literally all soaking wet. And that is the goal here. It's these finishing touches that make all the difference. And there we go. She is literally dripping wet and she looks so hot. <gasps> these are the moments I wish I had long hair. Stunning. So that is the wet look. Please do not be discouraged if the first time you do this, it doesn't look amazing or perfect. It does take practice like everything else in the hair world. Just put in the work, do it correctly, follow my guide step by step, and you can also have that red carpet Hollywood hair glamorous wet hair moment. If you end up giving it a try, please tag me. Here are all my social media handles listed right here. You can also follow my hair care brands right here. It's Xmondo Hair and Xmondo Color. And if you would like any of the products listed in today's video, they will be linked below for you or you can head to xmodohair.com. I cannot wait to see all the looks you guys create. That is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.